Hello, everybody, and welcome to NAEW Action. This is your host, Danny Jackpot, here to present to you Underground 2. The second edition Underground, we got the Crusade making their way down the ring. This is one of two matches in the United States Tag Team Title Tournament here in AEW. The last time we've seen the Crusade, they attacked Mason Chronic in the main event of NAEW 2, second in command. Now, we have the go with NAW3. Three is not enough. Three is not enough for the four-way world title match, of course. Rightfully deemed that three is not enough because of these guys right here and TJ Nicholson. The three of them make up the crusade. A battle royal has been made. And, and we'll talk about this later with Mason Chronic going on the face winner. So Mason Chronic will get something out of this. And I don't know who's coming out to the ring, actually. We haven't been given a list of Crusades opponents later. We have Biff and Zack and Dre Biff Star Biff, Biff and Jace and Zack start teaming up and wait a second, where are these guys? Grim Reaping and the Alien. And I don't know where these two guys have been found at, but Grim Reaping and the Alien. I thought Halloween was over. Well the What is this? I'm sorry, this has got me completely confused. Joe Omega's looking on with confusion, I can see there too. Grim Reaper and the Alien, huh? Well, these two guys are now going to be competing in the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Interesting. I think this might be the NAEW board maybe screwing with the Crusade. I'm really confused. I, I I wasn't expecting anything like this tonight already. Huh. Leave your comments, everybody, and let us know what you think about Grim Reaping and the Alien. Huh. I don't even know what to say about this as Grim Reaping brings light to the arena. Uh, that's one big alien. And... The alien and Grim Reaping, everybody. <laughs> oh my god. I only could hope these two guys could fight as well as their entrance. Because they're taking on the Crusade in the first round of the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. And Joe Omega taking it to the alien. For a man who's able to sip over the top rope, he's a short guy. You never know what those aliens are doing, but he has those long legs. And Grim Reaping trying to hold Joe Omega back, and he does, and the alien slaps Joe Omega. That was disrespect there by the alien, and Joe Omega is not happy. Joe Omega nailing a huge head on the alien. Stomping on him now. The, the, uh, the alien and Grim Reefing, so what? We've seen Joe Omega use a move like that on Mason Chronic. That, that, that cutter like maneuver. As Joe Omega now has that big Cobra Clutch sleeper on the alien. Is the Crusader going to move on to the Tag Team Title Tournament? Got a one, two. Three, and that is it. That is it for the Alien and Grim Reaper and the Crusade moves on to the Tag Team Title Tournament. Joe Omega, Norm Daly. That was a very quick win for the Tag Team of Joe Omega and Norm Daly. The Alien and Grim Reaper might have been a joke, but what was not a joke here is that the Crusade is moving on in this Tag Team Title Tournament. I don't know if the board of NAEW... Thought this one through, or what was the plan with that? But you can see Joe Omega, Norm Daly, they're going to be celebrating an easy win here on Underground 2. And, wait a second. What's going on backstage? I was wondering why TJ Nicholson wasn't with them. It looks like TJ Nicholson is being assaulted by Mason Chronic. But TJ Nicholson generally... TJ Nicholson trying to fight back here. But Mason Chronic... Just throwing TJ down in the cement. And big Manhattan drop here by Mason Chronic. 
Mason Chronic extracts a little bit of revenge for what happened to him at second in command. And oh, dropping him with that jackknife power bomb. Mason Chronic telling TJ Nicholson off here. Wait a second, what's going on in the ring? Back in the ring. I was wondering why these two weren't running out to their. Th Lester Barkley! Dextreme Tony! The, the Crusade man have just been laid out themselves! And all these guys have had their problems with the Crusade already in, in AEW! Mason Chronic, I wonder if this was planned by these three men or what? Because these three guys, well, not Mason Chronic, but Extreme Tony and Les Barkley, they're going to be in that World Title Tournament. And we also got TJ Nicholson who's going to be in that World Title Tournament, or that World Title Match at NAW. Three, three's, in, three's not enough. But we got to move on here. We got, the, we got another match in the United States Tag Team Title Tournament as the Bloodline, Zack Star and Biff Andreas. My, my, my good brother, and as I formed the Bloodline with these guys, Danny Jackpot, myself. Biff and Dre, Zach Star, strong guys, so I have to go for the bloodline here. But they will take on the reforming tag team, one of the most tag successful tag teams, one of the most successful tag con tag tandems in CAW. Stephen Raiden, Andrew Liana, and what a threat those two guys got to be. Now, Stephen Raiden, Biff Andreas, Zach Starr will be part of the six-man battle royal along with Connor James, Lamarcus, Jar Lamarcus Carter, and Aussie Andy. Those six men will compete in a battle royal with the winner taking on Mason Chronic at three is not enough. But Zach Starr, Biff Andreas can team up here tonight, and I know they can look past, uh, or, they, or, or they cannot deal with the fact that they might have to face each other here in a little bit at three is not enough. And here we go. Something I thought I, I, I said a, a weird thing to see. Stephen Ray and Andrew Leanna standing side by side coming out again. Who would have ever guessed to see these two guys real line up? And, and not only that, these two guys both did being booed by the fans. So something that never really happened to Ray and Leanna too much during their original run. 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 tag team title reigns officially between these two tag teams. I'm uh, between these two men together. Again, one of the most successful tag teams in CAW. And they are in the NAAW United States Tag Team Title Tournament now. Reforming on when they attacked Johnny D when Steven Raiden lost to Johnny D in, the, for, in that qualifier for the Maple Leaf Championship. The match started off when Zack Star seems to have an advantage on Steven Raiden. Don't forget, you can find Zack Star at another uh, little colleague called WEDF. I'm sure you guys might have heard of that. Interesting fact. Steven Raiden and Andrew Leanna actually lost belts on WEDF television one time before. That's how legendary of a tag team they are. On addition of Flame. But all right, but that's the past, and AEW is looking at the future, and Stephen Raiden is in is, is taking over Zack Star. Stephen Raiden was a surprise entrant in that Maple Leaf Championship match. That, let's not forget. And they actually had and Stephen Raiden tandem teaming up. That was a real surprise. Man, what about the Crusade getting one on them earlier? That was that was that was kind of nice to see after the Crusade would ruin the main event on Underground too. And that haunted, and that haunted Halloween special, that, that, that was pretty nice to watch. Biff Andreas was in that haunted, haunted special. Got a victory over Sean. And Juliana in the ring. Taking it to Zack Star. Was Zack Star able to put an elbow in? But Ann Juliana seems to still have the upper hand. And Ann Juliana is definitely in the wrong corner, I would say that. As Zack Star now makes a tag, t t tag, these guys have five seconds, and Biff and Zack Star are going to use every five seconds, to, uh, all five of those seconds. Trust me. Let's see. Now let's see if the fans see a little bit torn on who to cheer for when Biff's in the ring. I think because <laughs> there are some boos as soon as Biff got in the ring. Zack really popular. Biff hasn't been too popular here in AEW. And. Leanna now taking it to Biff. Leanna, he, he's got some credentials behind him himself. Former Intercontinental Champion twice for new NAW.
and Steven Raiden now being tagged in the match. And Steven Raiden delivering some big elbows there. And oh, Raiden, special, Raiden specializes in those signature wheel, wheel kicks there. But Zack Starry was able to get right up, nailing a big crossbody. Biff Andreas jumps in the ring and attacks Leanna. I don't know what the, what, what the deal is there. Back up by Star. Star taunting. I don't know if there's a ton of taunting the tag team in the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Star, though. Big sleeper slam. I don't know what Star was going there for. Zach Star was going there for, but he got a big reversal and getting kicked in the face with a big roundhouse by Steven Rain. Again, Steven Rain's legs are lethal. One. They're only getting a one count. Rain able to kick out. Surprised. The referee a little slow to the count there, I think. Russian leg sweep by Steven Rain. And Biff and Jace being tagged in the ring is Steven Raiden now. What, what was he breaking the announce table for? That's got that's a little scary. You gotta get away from the announce table here, Raiden. And Raiden rushing at Andreas, getting spine busted for his attempt there, getting a one count there only. And the bloodline now seem to have the upper hand in this match. The momentum going for the bloodline. And Biff Andreas, oh, just firmly in control of this match, driving Steven Raiden's face down to the mat. But like I said, Steven Raiden and Andrew Leanna are a successful, multi legendary tag team in CAW. Steven Raiden nailed Raiden's wrath on Biff out of nowhere, and uh, Biff kicks out at two. Biff kicking out of Raiden's wrath, and a big wheel kick there by Raiden. Ray now going for the springboard crossbody. Trying to make Biff humble. Trying to make him tap with the camel clutch. Shades of the Iron Sheik. Make him humble. Ray though, no, did not make him humble. Biff was able to get, get away there. And Ray, another Raiden's rap on Biff. I think this is it. We got a one, two, and Biff kicks out another Raiden's Wrath. Biff, he's got to be hurt. Quickly going for a pin, Biff is, but getting flipped over into a sunset. Steven Raiden, three, oh, and Biff couldn't kick out. What a match. What an attempt by Biff, but Raiden and Leanna beat the bloodline in the first round of the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. What a match. Raiden nailing not one but two Raiden's rats on Biff and Andreas and Biff Biff trying to kick Biff, Biff has a fighting spirit like none other kicking out on one but two of those. Look at that, the second kick out by Raiden. Raiden unsure what to do. Raiden then get rolls up by Biff, only getting a one count there, and then Raiden was able to flip him over in the sunset and Biff Biff had nothing left in him. Raiden, Leanna Legendary tag team, move on to round two in the tag team tournament. The United States tag team tournament, guys. The will crown tag team champions there. And the final round for the, the United States tag team title tournaments in NAE, NAAW. Biff, you gave it all. You, give it to us, Biff. You gave it all. The legendary tag team. Live. Yeah, I mean, even seeing these guys together still surprised me. Don't forget, three is not enough. Our very next event, NAEW Championship match, Extreme Tony Lester Barkley, TJ Nicholson versus to be decided later in the night, a 20-minute Iron Man match, Maple Leaf Championship, Al Cabrera, Johnny D, Mason Chronic will take on the Battle Royal Runner with Connor James, Zack Starr, Stephen Rain, Ossie Andy, LaMarcus Carter, and Biff Andreas. Three is not enough, guys. Be there. Thank you. Have a good night.